ladies, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Sorry I've been MIA for a while. I've been dealing with a cold. I even have a cough drop in my mouth right now so that I don't get my little tickly throat thing that makes me in these crazy hacking coughing fits. I wanted to come on here and do just a couple videos. Just, I was feeling a little bit more better. I'm not saying I'm, you know, great, great, but I'm feeling much better than what I was. So I wanted to come on and do a review on this palette here from Motives. Moto, it's uh, Motives uh, from Lauren Rittinger. Um, it's in the Nude palette. Looks like this. I have tried Motives products already, and I have really liked what I've tried so far. I've tried some uh, eyeshadows, uh, blush, lipstick, lip gloss, uh, a couple of different things. So, and they are in the... Uh, listed in like more like of a higher end um, cosmetics um, so a friend of mine Ronica Garcia is kind of who introduced me to motives I'd never even heard of it motives and I came across Ronica obviously through like some of the beauty groups that I've been on with Facebook and everything and uh, me and her clicked off really well she's a really nice lady and she's really involved with motives herself um, I will be putting links down below where you can go ahead and go on her pages and if you're interested to see more about Motives, see what products they have, um, you know, maybe purchase something, uh, maybe even this palette. This palette does retail for $49.95. Um, the uh, palette itself is adorable uh, cardboard. It's not... It's not a chintzy cardboard, it is it is a nice durable cardboard, um, so that was, I was glad about that because I have had some palettes where they're made out of cardboard and it's, you know, just ch cheapy chintzy. So it is a heavy durable cardboard. Um, you open it up and you will see you have like a little mirror here up on top and then down here you'll have a day look and a night look. It will kind of give you some ideas if you want some ideas uh, for some eye looks. It is what I have on my eyes right now. The eyeshadows. I do have the eyeshadows on right now, which I can tell you which ones I have. In a moment here, sorry if, with me with this cough drop, but I kind of have to. So I do apologize, but so anyway, it does come with, uh, which I'll take the paper. There is a plastic plastic paper, but you'll be happy to know that they did put the names on the cardboard part itself, not on the paper. So therefore you can look on there and be like, oh, okay. Um, so it does come with six eyeshadows, which the eyeshadows you can use wet or dry, whichever. I used them dry. I didn't realize the wet part until like a little bit later on. And then I keep forgetting. I'm like, oh. so I wouldn't mind trying them wet because Honestly, the eyeshadows that I purchased previously before from uh, Ronica from, from Motives and stuff, they're very pigmented, very great um, eyeshadows. Uh, they worked really great for me, so I, I really liked them. And um, so I was excited about these ones to try. Um, so you have six eyeshadows, you have a bronzer here, and then you have like a lip gloss, which please do not mind my lip gloss. <laughs> That was me, uh, like, getting a little carried away and smearing around and, and just getting carried away. Um, I'm not sure if I'm too keen on the lip gloss, I'll be honest, uh, being there. I think I would rather see maybe a highlight or something. Um, the bronzer I did use, because this I've used this twice now, two different times. And I did use the bronzer as a, just all over, like a blush kind of a thing before. Today I didn't. Today I, used, I did use one of my motor blushes that I did get. And I really, I don't know what, I really should get a couple more because I'll tell you what, that is like one of my favorite blushes to use. I think it's a, a great blush. So I used this like as to do the contour and bronzing of the face a little bit. And um, the lip I put over top of um, a lip liner. I think it was the Makeup Forever, that little lip liner pencil I got. And then I put this Kiss Me on top of it. That's the name of the lip gloss. So, and you also get a brush in here also, if I can get it out. Um, I haven't really used the brush, so I'm not sure how, you know, 
how well it will work, but both sides are kind of like a flat brush. One's more dense than the other. This one's more dense on this side compared to this side. This side's more softer and this side's a little more dense. So, um, but yeah, you get a, a, a brush in there, which like I said, I've used my own brushes. And um, here it shows you, it's, sorry about me swirling around my cough drop there. Here it shows you uh, day and then evening. So like down, straight down, they're kind of saying you can use the these ones here for the daytime, these ones here, and then these down here you can use for evening. Eh, you know me, I just, I swapped all around. I was everywhere with, with um, the palette. I actually used, um, well, first I'll go ahead and show you the colors. That would help, wouldn't it? Okay, so the first one on top here is called Fawn. This one right here is called Fawn, and they're really buttery soft. No kidding. Don't know how well you can see that, though. Let's see if I can get it, but they're very buttery soft. Okay, there's Fawn. The next one below Fawn, I'll, I'll put them, I'll swatch them here in a bit here. This one is Espresso. This one here, it's um, very gorgeous, shimmery, mm, shimmery color. Gorgeous. Wait till you see this. Oh, and it feels so good. Okay, that's Espresso right there. So we got Fawn and Espresso. And then on the bottom, we have Cream. This one here is Cream. So the Cream and the Fawn are the only two mattes in this palette. <clears throat> so let's get the Cream. Wait till you see the Cream. The creamy, look how, look, it's crazy. <clears throat> I really love their shadows. I have to say they are great shadows. So there they are there. It's funny, you can't see cream too well on my skin, but that's probably because my skin tone. <laughs> but, uh, they're supposed to be fallen. <laughs> like I said, you might not see it too well because of my skin tone. And then there's espresso, and then there's uh, fallen. That's, what I, wait, that's cream. It's supposed to be there. Um, so unfortunately you can't see that one too well, but that is the first side. On the other side, the rest of them are all like, um, <clears throat> I would say like this top one is called Dazzle. This one right here is called Dazzle. Very gorgeous color. Oh. That's Dazzle. I would definitely say that's um, Shimmer. The next one is called Force. It's that darker color right there. This I would say kind of a glittery kind of a, but it does, this glitter doesn't come off like, you know, like you would, you wouldn't want it to. So that's Force. And the one on the bottom is called Lux. I would say Lux is another um, shimmer, like a shimmer color. This one here is Lux. Maybe it could be satin even, I don't know, but I think more shimmer. But this is Lux. Let's see. And that's Lux on that finger right there. Okay. I'm going to put all three of these on my hand. Had to dip into Lux a little bit more. Okay, so there's ah, where am I at here? That one's Dazzle. Um, Force and then Lux. 
So that's what that one looks. They're all more shimmery as you can tell. So the bronzer is called Miami Miami Glow. It's a nice size bronzer you get in there. So very pretty bronzy color. Um, whoops, that was bad. I'll have to use another finger. Because I used it on a finger that I had another color. Um, I'm not sure if I would actually say how well it would do for uh, dark skin. You could probably use it as a um, a, a shadow or something like that, but I'm not really sure. But it's called Miami Glow. Right there it is, right there. So that's Miami Glow. And then the lip gloss, which I make such a mess on my fingers. The lip gloss here, right here, is called Kiss Me. Kiss Me. We're only going to get a little bit of that stuff. Because, like I said, I, I had a nice shimmer, sparkly to it. I mean, there's no color. It's just nice sparkle. You could top it, like put another lip color on and, and top this. Like you could use another maybe nude color, like a little deeper nude, and then put this on top, put it in the middle, of your, in like in the center of your lips or something. Um, any of that kind of stuff you'd like to do, you could um, very well do that, you know. Uh, but like I said, I'm not so sure about the lip gloss being there because I do find myself, I bumped I bumped it a couple of times and um, that's probably the only thing. But I mean, like, as in the palette as a whole, I think it's gorgeous. I mean, I, I love the Motives eyeshadows. I mean, I, I really have liked their eyeshadows. And the Miami Glow is a very pretty, I can see this being so great for in the, uh, you know, upcoming spring and summer now. And I think it's just very gorgeous. I don't know. I haven't played with it as a wet. I only can imagine wet. Um, on my eyes, like I said, I, I did do this palette, like different colors on my eyes. I did start off with the cream color. And like I put that all over on my lid, all the way up to the brow. And then after I did that, um, oh, I took a Dazzle, this Dazzle color, and kind of put it on the lid all the way over, and then from that, I used, oh, I used Fawn as a transition color, um, up above the crease area, so I put Fawn up above my crease a little bit, and, and then... From that, I went ahead into um, Force and just did in the outer V with the for the with the Force. The Force be with you. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I used that in the um, outer corner right here. Did the outer V area with Force, and then Lux. I went ahead and took my fingertip and just dab dabbled whatever you, dab dabbled whatever. Uh, in the center and just on the eyelid a little bit more to add a little uh, just got to add a little something more something something I guess I don't know um, I guess the only color I didn't use was espresso kind of funny because I used them all but espresso because then under my eyes I just lined my eyes with my eyeliner um, and yeah that's all I did under my eyes I didn't use the eyeshadows under my eyes I used um, my eyeliners that I have. And then the Miami Glow, I just went ahead and used it as a contouring kind of a thing or put it down below where the contour, you know. And then above that on top I put a blush. And then I used my um, <laughs> Makeup Forever Neutral, uh, it's Makeup Forever's Neutral Lip, lip Liner. And then put this on top of it to give it like just a little shine, I guess you want to say. The blush I keep talking about 
is this one here. It's called Eclipse, and it's from Motives, and it's called Eclipse. Oh. Oh, this is like one of my favorite blushes. No kidding. I mean, seriously, it is. It is. It is one of my favorite blushes that I, I love to use. There's just something about this blush. I don't know. I mean, it does have some shimmer and whatever, but it is a gorgeous blush right there. It's like a gorgeous flushed color, natural flushed color. But it does have... Um, it does have like a, a, a glitter particles on top, but I don't find the glitter, I don't notice them, I guess is what I'm going to say. But anyway, that is my review on the palette overall, the In the Nude palette from Motos. So I think it's a really good palette. Um, it is on the higher end price, um, so that would be up to you if, you know, like you'd want to give it a try. Um, the eyeshadows actually in here, um, if you're familiar with Too Faced and their eyeshadow palettes like that they come out on around the holidays and how big those um, eyeshadows are in, the, in their uh, palettes, that is about how big these ones are. So they are a nice size. They're not real small or chintzy they are a nice size and you do get a nice size of the bronzer so i figured i would put that out there uh like i said just the only thing is the kiss me lip gloss i wish there was maybe more of a highlight there maybe if that was the case because um you can use this bronzer as like a blush or just a nice bronzed blushy glowy look um whatever you know it, it's whatever you want to do right but uh I don't think Kiss Me is a bad color. I think it's a gorgeous lip gloss. It's just, um, I found it kind of just to be whatever. But I do like that they have the names on there. So, and I know a lot of you appreciate that. The brush, I'm not too sure about. I haven't really played with it. So I really can't give it a yay or a nay. Um, but overall, I really like the palette. Uh, so I would give it a thumbs up. I think it's a really gorgeous palette. The colors are beautiful. The mattes are, are just gorgeous in this palette. The shimmers, everything. I really feel their their eyeshadows are very great high quality and no I'm not getting paid to say all this and, and I'm not sponsoring this video it's just my humble opinion on what I really think of Motors Cosmetics is a great brand they're just on the higher end I think Motives is just definitely a great company they have really nice products they're really coming out with a lot more new products they have some liquid lipsticks that are actually going to be coming out, which I'm going to try to get my hands on some of those and do a review for you guys for that if you're interested. Um, so definitely, and I think some of their eyeshadows and blushes, I think you can just get the disc itself, like the, but you don't have to get them in their casing like this. You can get them, I think, just itself, like the blush, and you know, do the Z palette thing like you you would do. Um, like I said, I'll put the link down below to her page. Go and check it out. You can check out the prices, the products, and everything. You know, just go ahead and check it out and see. And also, I think I'll put a link down for her Facebook page. Uh, she has a Facebook page for um, the Motives team kind of a thing. And sometimes she'll have um, some contests going on there. And um, it's just a lot of fun. You know, get to know some more girls. And beauties and guys you know just getting to know more people and Ronica I'm telling you she is a awesome person so she would definitely be a great person if you're interested in motives to talk to and um, talk you know like ask her questions about the motives or find something that maybe you would like to try first for motives or what would suit you or anything she's very helpful very kind lady so I highly recommend her definitely in general to work with uh, for the motives stuff so all right PDs before I lose my voice here <laughs> and my film is going too long here I'll have to shorten it but anyway thank you so much for joining me really appreciate it and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up uh, also if you're not subscribed to my channel I'd really appreciate it thank you to all my new subscribers I really appreciate it thank you thank you I hope you stick with me and, and join me for each week um, and also, beauties, as you always know, 
Please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, y'all take care. Bye-bye. Put some more links down below. Go and check out some other uh, beauties. I'll have a link down below that uh, Carol had given me too. So, all right, beauties. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.